Good morning. Today is Monday, April 27th, 2020. Uh, welcome back. We just finished our April break. I hope you guys were able to get outside a little bit. It was nice a couple days. Go on some walks and maybe a run, maybe a bike ride, play in the backyard. I don't know. I trimmed some hedges in the spring. And in the spring, we're going to continue studying <clears throat> all of our spring stuff about pollination and pollinators. Um, and I got some new stuff in store. We took a big hit over the week where we found out we're not coming back to regular school. We're going to be on computer school for the rest of the school year. And hopefully this new organization method I developed keeps you engaged and able to finish what you need to do to finish out the school year. Um, with that said, I want to walk you through this thing. Uh, I think you recognize from Station's work. And what it does is it runs down everything you'll be expected to do for each subject for the entire week. So there's morning work, which would be write rights. Phonics, you'll watch Miss K and do what she says. Text talk, you'll watch me and do what I say. Vocabulary words, read and respond. And then there's some math work in there also. Those things will all be in your Google Classroom, but then attached to this will be, for example, your list of vocabulary words. Work with those. Then there's these. You can cut these out and write the definitions on the back. Put your vocabulary words in alphabetical order. This is a master copy. What does that mean? That means that there's only one of these in your packet. If you want more, you can print more. You can ask somebody to help you copy that and type it in if you want. Or you can always just write, do this in your notebook. You write the name of the word, write a definition, sentence, and then draw a picture. You can do all that um, on a piece of paper. You don't need this form. Here's your apples and bees response. Read and respond. Uh, we're gonna read about apples and bees and you'll be answering questions. This needs to be done by the end of the week not right right way. Math happens in your math workbook. Most of you brought this home. If you did not, there are digital copies in the Google Classroom you're able to print or you can write the problems in your notebook. Not that big of a deal. Um, there are bonus math sheets at the bottom of this packet. When you finish the math work, if you have extra time, by all means do those. There's a lot. They should be kind of fun. Finally, this is your writing prompts for the rest of the month. Each day of the week, there is a prompt. You are going to write three to five sentences in a notebook, or you can type those into the computer. I don't care where you put them, just as long as you're writing. So these are usually going to be creative writing, something fun to do. Today is, I wish that I could, what? I wish that I could go back to school and work there. Why? I wish I could go back to school and work there because all my things are there. I don't have to worry about talking into the computer and then discovering that it didn't record and then have to sit back down and do it again. I hope that it's on right now. I don't know. Um, we will today hear a story, The Bee Man by Lori Krebs and Valerie, Valeria Sis. I want you to know I took a picture because I used this fishnet and this Bee Man book and I rescued a bumblebee. Well, I caught him. He was stuck in the window, a big one. And I caught him there and I took a picture of it. So look for that on our website. Um, we're also going to read, again, we'll look at some of the diagrams from A Seed to Plant by Gail Gibbons. And we're also going to read and look at some diagrams in What is Pollination by Bobby Cowan. Um, without further, please email me about any of that stuff and I'll see you guys at noon for Zoom. Let's say the pledge of the leaders. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing as we recite the Linden Way. I promise to be respectful, responsible, and ready to learn. That's the Linden Way. Today's quote is brought to you by Ulysses S. Grant, 18th President of the United States, who said, Labor disgraces no person. Unfortunately, you occasionally find people who disgrace labor. What does that mean? Well, that means that hard work never hurt anybody, but people who don't work hard make hard work look bad. 
So don't make hard work look bad. Um, everything's laid out for you to be successful, to continue growing and be ready for third grade. So get after it, roll up your sleeves, don't disgrace labor, do your hair toss, check your nails, baby how you feeling? Happy birthday Lizzo.